What's going on guys? This is Cole aka Proximity bringing you a brand new video today. Today I want to cover some accuracy tips in Halo 5 or just Halo in general. I've had a lot of requests to do this so I'm going to try to run down a few tips I can give you. There's only so much I can tell you to try to get your shot better. You know a lot of it is just practice and putting in the time and effort but there are a few things I can tell you that might help out your shot and a few things that I do that helped me so I'll like run those down for you guys real quick in this video and hopefully you guys can improve your accuracy. So the first thing I want to cover in this video is to make sure that you have an appropriate sensitivity or sensitivity that feels very good for you. I, I don't know what you guys might be playing on, but I play, as you see here, on 4 sensitivity. 4 to 5 is what I fluctuate from. So you want to be playing somewhere, well I like to play on a slower range where my sensitivity is not too quick. I know some people like to play on a higher sensitivity, and that's not to say you can't be effective at a high sensitivity, but I'm just saying that if you are on a high sensitivity and you're looking to get better shots and you're thinking to yourself, your shot's really shaky, you want it to be more accurate, you think your shot's not so great, and you want to get better at it, the best advice I can give you is to turn your sensitivity down. A lot of pro players, I think almost every pro player plays like under 5. Nobody really plays in a high sensitivity that plays at a super high level. It's just not really common. I know there are a few people, and before you go in the comments, you'll be like, well, Hyena plays on 10, Hyena's amazing. Like, well, you're not Hyena. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. If you want to get your shot a little bit better, and you're having a lot of problems, the first thing you should do, turn your sensitivity down, try that out. It'll help you a lot. So that's easier to manage moving targets because it's easier to keep your shot steady when you're playing on a lower sensitivity. The next thing I can try to explain is trying to use the zero flick method as I like to call it, which basically means like, you know, there's two real like real ways to shoot at people. Like I could be like shooting at Dallas like this every time and like like all over the place. And some people do that, you know, they'll be in like at a really fast pace, they'll be in close ranges here, and if you like every shot it seems like they're whipping it to somebody, you know? Uh, if, if you do that and you're still having problems with your accuracy, you know, you can do that and be perfectly accurate. I'm not saying that's a bad thing to do. I'm just saying if you, if you feel like you want to, you know, get better with your accuracy, something to try out that I like to do is to try to not, try to avoid pegging your right stick. And what I mean by pegging is if you see here, whenever you click the stick all the way to the edge and it hits the wall, you can hear that clicking sound. Try to avoid doing that. Just keep it within the rim or within the edges and just move your reticle really slowly. Uh, I've, I've developed that over the years, over the ha like that habit. I like to do that. It just helps keep my aim really steady. It helps me focus a little bit more. And it makes it really easy for me to just follow somebody slowly. Just keep it on. It kind of looks like I have an aimbot if you do it right. You know, it's kind of hard to do when I'm just talking about it. It's easier to simulate when I'm actually playing. But that's something to try out. If you want to get your actions better, you can try out that little, like, trick. Try to just make sure you're not pegging and trying to make sure you're not whip shotting and see how that works for you. That really might help your accuracy. So try that out as well. And the last and most important thing I can I can say to try to get your accuracy better, try to get your shot better, is grab a friend, as I have Dallas here, and get an octagon. Uh, this is an octagon we're in right now, which is literally just an eight-sided shape, and it's just basically like an arena little thing. This has been a popular thing since Halo 3 and up. Um, you can grab one. There's places to find them online here, and you can grab one, uh, grab an octagon. Somebody's made them in Forge, and just play with your teammate. Like, as you see here, well, if I kill Dallas here, he will spawn inside this octagon and then it's got an instant spawn and we just go back at it again and then you know you can have a sniper on the back up if you'd like and basically that's the point you just play this instant spawns unlimited time play octagon play octagon a ton play until you just get you're tired of playing because the more engagements you get the more time you spend playing the better it's going to be for you to improve your shot try to get your shot better the more time you play the better your shot's going to get that's just like obvious you know if you feel like you need a lot of practice with like gun battle or something I, you know i just i recommend playing a lot of octagon so i've done this with my friends we've done this i don't even know how many hours i've played octagon in my life honestly um you know the spawns are pretty easy to predict that's not about that it's just about shooting your gun and just trying to improve your accuracy you know if you're concerned about your magnum then don't whip out the snipe but if you're concerned about the snipe then don't whip out your magnum i mean that's about all i can tell you you know there's nothing i can really tell you that's just gonna make your shot magically better but those are some things i've done over the years that my friends and i have all done and it's, it's really helped people get better. So um, those are my tips I have for accuracy, guys. I, you know, I hope those were helpful, and I hope you guys can use those and uh, get, get your shot better. I don't know. Let me know if you have any other tips, if there's anything I missed, because that's about all I can think of to get your shot better. So I hope this is helpful, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Guys. Cheers. Cheers. Salt the strawberries. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>